Okay, it's time for my next update, and I am actually in Japan now. Uh, this, this, is, this is Japan. This is Japan. This is my apartment. Uh, well, part of my apartment. Uh, I'm kind of in a rural area, so my apartment is surprisingly large. It's not like huge by any means, but it's bigger than I was expecting it to be. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, Japanese studies, AJAT, MIA, all that good stuff. Um, Okay, so the first thing that I want to touch on is uh, efficiency of studying language and uh, kind of actually being immersed in the country. Um, because my experiences over here so far, uh, I don't want to make any like certain declarations uh, because we'll kind of see as things continue while I'm over here. Uh, but my initial feeling is that I was correct in my assessment in the previous video that this is not actually the most efficient way to learn a language. I think I could learn Japanese faster if I stayed in America and just took a bunch of time off of work and just like buckled down and you know immersed uh, all the time. I think that would be more efficient. I also think it would be way less fun. <laughs> um, so let me kind of touch on both of those things. Uh, so first is kind of lack of efficiency. So uh, being over here in Japan, uh, you're not actually surrounded by Japanese all the time. And, and that should be relatively obvious, and I was expecting that. But if you think about your own country, right, and whatever your native language is, I suspect probably English if you're watching this, but I don't know for sure. Um, you're not actually constantly being bombarded by people speaking English, right? Because people don't actually talk to each other that often. Uh, they certainly don't talk to you that often. Uh, so there's these huge gaps of time where you're just not hearing any Japanese at all, right? It's just, that's, that's normal. That's normal. So you're not actually constantly immersed in Japanese being over here. Uh, whereas in the States, uh, if I just took some time off, I could kind of make myself pretty much constantly immersed in Japanese. Um, the other thing is that when people are speaking to you, uh, which is most of the Japanese input that you get, like there is some amount of eavesdropping that happens, but most of the Japanese input that I get is when people are actually trying to speak to me. Um, people will simplify their Japanese for you over here, which is good, right? Like that's, I mean, the goal is communication. I super appreciate that they simplify their Japanese for me because I want to communicate with them too, right? Um, but what that means is that like the kind of the the rate at which you can progress I think is limited uh, by their kind of trying to keep their Japanese at your level because you need the Japanese that you're getting to be like a bit above your level kind of at all times. Um, and, and that does still kind of naturally happen, right? People will, will use words that you don't know, and uh, then potentially you could look those words up, uh, or you could ask them what that word means. Um, the, the thing that happens in practice, though, is that uh, if you don't understand something, people will immediately rephrase, right? And they'll try to find a way to express it so that you can understand it, which again, super appreciated, but it means you don't really have a chance to actually kind of be like, wait, wait, what was that you said? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's stop this conversation that we're having. Uh, just put the brakes on uh, so that I can look this up in the, in the dictionary quick or so that you can like derail the conversation to explain to me what this thing means and then we'll have forgotten what you were trying to talk about in the first place. And like that's, in practice, like that's not gonna happen that often. Um, so, for both of those reasons, I think like living in the country is not the the most efficient way. It it does you do still learn language through that, right? Like I am still learning uh, Japanese through just being here, but it's not as efficient as immersing and kind of being able to look like pause a video and like look things up and things like that. So, anyway, so that's that about efficiency. But uh, I'm super okay with it not being as efficient uh, because. For me, it's way more interesting, uh, and it might not be the case for uh, everyone else. I'm not saying that this is the way that people should do things, right? This is the way that uh, I want to do things because it's more fun for me. Because uh, for me, Japanese, like consuming Japanese media, 
in native Japanese and being able to understand it is not the reason that I want to learn Japanese, right? Like, it's, that's a means to an end. I enjoy anime, I enjoy Japanese dramas, like things like that, but the thing is I can enjoy those pretty much just as much by watching with subtitles, right? For me, that's not a significant motivation for learning Japanese. Um, for me, the motivation for learning Japanese is that I want to be able to connect with people that I wouldn't otherwise be able to connect with. Um, like that's, uh, well, and also it's just kind of interesting to, you know, expand my uh, horizons a bit in that sense, but, um, but yeah, I want to connect with people. And so being in Japan and constantly, uh, even if, not constantly uh, being immersed in Japanese, but definitely being like around people most of the time uh, that are Japanese speakers who do not speak English well, uh, it's this constant reminder of why I'm doing this, right? It's this constant reminder of uh, why I want to learn Japanese, so that I can actually connect with these other people, with these other human beings. Um, and the the wins that I have when I am able to communicate with people uh, is just like so satisfying. Uh, and the the kind of like walls that I run up against when I can't communicate with people the way that I want to is so frustrating, right? And so the, the combination of that is like, it's it's way more interesting, it's way more fun, it's way more motivating. Uh, so I definitely think I made the, the right choice to come over here. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, I think that's, that's pretty much all, all I have to talk about. Um, yeah, uh, since I'm just kind of now resuming my studies, uh, yeah, I don't have a lot, a lot to talk about in in that respect. Um, so I guess I guess this is it. That was kind of a short update. Cool. I should try and make them shorter because I don't I don't think they actually need to be that long. Cool. Well, see you next time. <laughs>